Robin, stop acting like I'm fearful. <laughs> I would have done it in heels. So, um, welcome to Maureen and Robin in the morning. Would you hear it? Yeah. Maureen and Robin, Robin in the morning. <laughs> So LeakyCon today, I've been to a couple panels now. I went to the beginning panel for the Lit Track, which was phenomenal. Um, yeah, Maureen Johnson came in on a freaking Segway, which was amazing. Like, I, I love her. But yeah, it was very interesting. We heard some of them read fan fiction that they wrote, so that was fun. And I'm going, oh. And now, and then I went to the what, Snape Deserve panel where we talked about Snape and how and like what he deserved or like how he was a hero or not a hero and just things like that or how he saw himself things like that so now i'm just walking i think i'm gonna go find something to eat i'm starving and then i think i'm gonna take a break or i think we're just gonna go to like a tumblr ask box or something like that and then i think at one i'm gonna go to world building so that should be fun so yeah i'm really tired i'm I'm, I'm struggle bussin, to put it in an Ellen Blair if you watch them on YouTube. Blair says it quite a lot, but that's how I feel today. But yeah, so I'm gonna go find some food and my friend, and I will update you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so I just thought I'd share this with you all, but I just had a little confrontation with a vending machine. Yeah. They didn't like any of my dollars. And kept spitting them back out of me and I was like, you know, I'm trying to find a dollar that you like. Apparently it really only likes crisp, like crisp dollar bills. Because it denied like three of mine before I found one that worked. So that vending machine just, just is, it's a diva. It's a diva. Yeah. But yeah, so I got Mountain Dew. Hopefully that'll help me wake up. But yeah, so I'm going to try to find some actual food now that's not caffeinated, which is all I've been eating, or drinking, I should say, today. So yeah. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you, that I had a little confrontation with a vending machine. It was not a happy vending machine. It was a very mean and evil vending machine. But it did give me a soda, so I'll forgive it a little bit. just got out of the Hannah Hart panel where she was talking about her new book and it sounds like it's gonna be really cool so I'm gonna just gonna throw in there a shameless plug for her hannahhart.com slash book it's cheaper to order it online or you can wait for it to come out but yeah it sounds like it's gonna be really cool she was awesome it was cool seeing her in person my drunk kitchen best thing ever so I'm gonna head back to the hotel and I'm going to die because I'm going to go up the escalator. But yeah, so I'll talk to you guys soon.
I see the West. And Sarah was like, Sarah is also not, she doesn't have a really good sense of self-preservation. <laughs> She's always like, I will, I am brave, I will go. And like, she'll kind of go into danger. Well, like actually, that. the best way to summarize this is that Sarah is definitely allergic to bees and bees are her friends. She likes to, <laughs> she likes she likes to, to go and like hands. pet them. Yes. Yeah. Well, she likes to save them from the pool. She keeps trying to take so them out of the pool. So she scoops them up with her hand, hand and she rests them upon the deck and she says, she oh, needs, she needs an EpiPen. She doesn't have it. She doesn't either. carry one. <laughs> so we spend most of our time in terror that Sarah is going to go into anaphylactic shock. <laughs> Genuine terror. But Sarah, the only time I've ever seen her exercise self preservation was on that bus because she was like, I would have to go outside and that's all the, the, the desert. And I was like, it is all snakes out there. <laughs> it is like, she was like, what? And I said, <laughs> everything you see out there, every rock, basically. Like, this is rattlesnake country. Like, we are going through the desert. Are you just making that up? She's not torn since 1979. She did one tour in 1979, a famous tour, and she didn't tour again until then. So you've had her in 20 years. <laughs> sold out so fast and they were super crazy expensive. Oh, that wasn't that bad. I would have. <laughs> I think that like people are kind of black marketing. Yeah, yeah, I guess the I, question I, is how much do you want it? I want it a lot. <laughs> and if I could figure out a way to do it, I will try to uh, obtain by any means a ticket. Because, and then I think I would faint and then I think I'd be there and I'm like, I have <laughs> and I see David Bowie, and I feel that kind of oh, the same God. way. But I, you know. And I've got the worst seats. I'm like, I'm like say this was the arena, and this is the stage. Yeah. I'm sat so far over there. It's not even. It's not. Even, I, I won't be able to see it. It's like you're almost as far away as she's gonna be. But... <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be inside one more one more insist. By the doors. I'm being moved on by security. Dressed, what dressed as Kate. Wait, just what day are you going? Just out of curiosity. Um, 19th, I think. September. Um, September? Yeah. When did this tour actually start? 15th. Of September? I can't remember. I'm actually not going to. That was, that was, see, that's, that was what it said when we went to our tickets, and that's what I was checking. Yeah. <laughs> in some kind of like sexy way? No, no, it's to keep her strength up. But That's also, really to, keep, interesting also to keep slender. I could not uh, date this guy. <laughs> Robin doesn't eat fruit. <laughs> like that would be my deal breaker. She also doesn't eat soup. <laughs> Was that in the contract? <laughs> what? <laughs> fruit would be enough, I wouldn't date that guy. <laughs> Robin doesn't eat fruit, any fruit. No fruit. No fruit. No. Yeah. I did have two slices of an orange this year, so I can no longer say I can never have it. And you were stuck, so no, it's funny, right? I think we have like two minutes left. Should we take some kind of question or something from the audience? Yeah, I mean, we usually like Listen, you guys, if you come to this, I feel like you should know that it's not like, you should just not, like, I'm assuming you have very low expectations. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Every year you come and you're like, it's just worse. Except this year it's better because I think, you know. We got a big group here. It's like the circus. Maybe there's someone hiding under the table and at the last minute they're going to jump out and that will be our grand finale. Does have a question for our special guests? And we have special guests. Don't look down. Do you know how to stop it again? <laughs> It's the segue. It just wakes you up. It is 
What it is is that by the end of the day, I am so much less tired <laughs> from being on the thing. Also, I have to say, well, it's amazing and wonderful. Fear, fear wakes you up. Fear and fear. acceleration. <laughs> have you gone eight miles an hour yet? I think I have. <laughs> the guy, the guy that trains you is like, okay, go down to the end of that hallway, and I want you to come at me as fast as you can, and then you'll see what happens. <laughs> Like, he teaches you everything before he teaches you how to break. It's a very odd message. <laughs> I did, I was going down, like, there's that place where you go down. Yeah. It's really, it really turns quite easily. It really it's does. Does. It's super really fun. I'm not trying to sleep this stuff. That's why they recommend a home. <laughs> That's why they make you sign your life away. <laughs> reaction was I thought you were in your wheelchair and I was like person in a wheelchair <laughs> and I was like did you whatever you have to do to get out of this situation but do not hit anybody in the wheelchair <laughs> because you would have been just sitting there like oh my god I've been in this stupid lounge for like two hours in the morning bugs me over with a stick <laughs> The famous 
is all we need.
seven years and now we're finally here. Oh, everything would be okay. Teacher set out to ruin my day. How wrong I was to think everything would be perfect now. But when we spoke up and stood up for me, she grabbed my arm and said that we should be. She was the serious, tried to trip me and yelled, see a spirit. This is it, we're off to Hogwarts and you're 